I work together in government committee. Okay. They say she has long, long history. Okay. And uh, she began with Cunningham and Richie with Int 16 bit and C99 long. Maybe. <laughs> and finally, long, long. Okay. And it, it has a long, long life. And, you know, Japanese people prefer very long term stable things. Okay. And maybe that is one reason. And another reason is uh, not just Java or even C sharp. They are much better than C to write the human way of thinking. Okay. But consumes a lot of memory space and energy to do the same thing. And C is much more machine oriented and lightweight and less energy, less memory. Maybe that is a major reason why Japanese industry prefers to use C. But in uh, those days, in many cases, uh, people start to use even Java or C sharp for embedded system. And the trend is going to uh, see that. Uh, uh, going to change to that direction. And especially for the uh, Internet of Things thing, okay, IoT. And I am a member of IoT promotion group with Microsoft people. And those days, C sharp compiled uh, code can be put on a very small piece of the embedded board with Microsoft architecture. And that's going to be ex expand <coughs> and even will be used in uh, automotive industry. But at this moment, C is dominant. And uh, C has very good features. Okay. I really appreciate uh, Kanihan and Richie and some other people who help the C promotion uh, in improvement. Uh, but when I was developing, development uh, guy for such as SCSI bus analyzer in early 90s or late 80s. Uh, I wrote that type of code with C. Life equal life plus Q with parameter par I and par I plus plus. And I'm sure everybody here understand that depends on the compilation option or which manufacturer's compiler is used, the life value is changed. Okay. Evaluation order is not defined at all by C. Yeah. But when I was young, I didn't know that kind of thing at all. And <laughs> I had problems and fought with my colleague this code works quite well with my machine. And when I transferred it to him, and he started to complain about that, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> and this type of uh, problem happened in uh, late 80s and early 90s. Okay. Not only in my laboratory, but also all over Japan. And actually, I try to identify is there any testing tool which will give me good suggestion about the dependability or implementation uh, dependent kind of thing or mysterious behavior possibility of C code. Okay. And there are two different type of uh, tools available in that age in Japan. But all those are very much expensive and I couldn't offer it. Yeah. It it costed more than nine hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I I eventually encountered QSC. Yeah. And I don't ask you how much you paid <laughs> for QSC, but anyway, that seems to be a good solution for uh, my headache. 
it's superior to those Japan, Japan original tools. Yeah, far more capable. Okay. And I use this for my development, and I proved it works in early 90s. And uh, the reason why I had the opportunity to use it was uh, just our salespeople uh, identified that is a possibility of reselling in Japan. And I was asked to uh, verify it. And I used it on my project, and it worked. And also, the sales director asked me, would you please visit the manufacturer of that tool? And I went there in Washington, DC. And uh, when I knocked, they welcomed me. And when I expressed I want to uh, distribute your tool to Japanese people, and he said, uh, you came to the wrong place. We are distributor of QSP. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was my big mistake, yes. And I, uh, I needed to uh, reinvestigate where it is and identify it as UK. Yeah, surprising. <laughs> Next year, I finally uh, succeeded to visit London and started the distributor uh, business. Therefore, uh, I think the <coughs> initial visit was 1993 or two. And Toyo Corporation and CRQA has been a good, uh, reliable rela relationship more than 20 years. Yes, long, long time. <coughs> and uh, after that, actually, I had a uh, so English term gut gut feeling about QSC capability and how it can help me okay, as a programmer support. But I needed to prove it all over Japanese industry. Okay. And I, uh, fortunately, I got some human resource uh, people and some machines and tools with CRQA support. I started the code analysis center with six or seven people. Okay. And uh, salespeople asked many different industry uh, company C programming development team if they like to diagnose the, the C code, and most of them said, no, we don't need it. <laughs> Why? Of course, we have no defects at all. Good confidence. Yeah. And uh, I asked salespeople, our salespeople, to change the way to ask, would you like your uh, outsourcing source code qualification? And they said yes, <laughs> immediately. And they sent it to us. And we reported with what kind of defects or quality problem or metrics 